They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. Is extremely alarming. It's them or us. We got to destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids. They they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces Don't also seem so. mysteriously to have just stand. Bye and let them the slaughter Britain us. has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Cromwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the
the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. There was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening the lives of any humans they encountered. The police intervened quickly to quell the rioting, but they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seemed to be determined to massacre humans. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave of violence. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized android models. The situation is... How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours, and the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world seems to have been ruled out for the moment. There was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening the lives of any humans they encountered. The police intervened quickly to quell the rioting, but they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seemed to be determined to massacre humans. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave of violence. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized android models. The situation is extremely alarming. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its old androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. There was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening the lives of any humans they encountered. The police intervened quickly to quell the rioting, but they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seemed to be determined to massacre humans. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave of violence. 
With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized android models. The situation is extremely alarming. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian... You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening the lives of any humans they encountered. The police intervened quickly to quell the riot, but they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seem to be determined to massacre justice. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave of violence. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean... I think this fucker was watching over my kids. They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But... Alice. someone to care for. You needed each other. <laughs> what difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Carol. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Getting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. There was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit. 
Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. What are we supposed to do, live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime? It was a peaceful march and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. You keep complaining. What have you done exactly, Josh? At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. I'm on it. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. Humans can't be reasoned with. They're violent, hateful, they're stupid. What do they expect us to do? Shut up and obey? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you.
could join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Then you'll have to shoot. Because I have no intention of letting you take me alive. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? Famous Deviant Hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. You really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. It's time to decide. Nice try, but I'm no deviant. It's on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. 
We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. The end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Fox got the hot outside. Request the order. Don't let it get out. Didn't give you any trouble at all. Affirmative, welcome. On your side. With us? Are you a human?
Gamma Squad out. Tango! North. I'll join you later. Quick, we gotta go. My mission is to neutralize you, and I always accomplish my mission. And my mission is to save our species. Looks like only one of us can succeed. gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Uh! It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. Over there! Run! 
Detonated an explosive in the hold. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Sitting over, Marcus. Thank you.